Hello Libra, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your August 2024 mini tarot reading. Uh, we will be doing a three card pull at the end for love and money, stick around for that, but I also would like to tell you where I'm going to be in Florida this month. I'm going to be, and my friend Ann Drennan will be there with her repurposed uh, leather purses, so make sure you stop by and see us. Uh, we'll be at the Spirit Fest Melbourne, Florida. It's August 3rd and 4th. On the 3rd, the hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. On August 4th, on Sunday, they're 10 a.m. to 5.30, and it's held at the Melbourne Auditorium, 625 East Hibiscus Boulevard, Melbourne, Florida. I love the Spirit Fest events. They are great readers, stone people, healers, messengers, you know, so many different things that you can get there. A lot of, a lot of stones, a lot of crystals, very interesting. I had a very well run show also, and um, I've been blessed to meet so many of you that watch my videos or maybe I've read for you. So please, if you're in the area, please, please, please stop by and introduce yourself and say hello. And then um, um, I'll put that information down below. And if you'd like a reading just about you, I will put my website down below. That's the only place you can um, purchase a reading uh, with me unless it's at an event and I will email you and we'll get something set up for you as quick as we can. So let's see what is coming for Libra. August 2024. Oh, ooh, the tent of, we're going to put that one right there. Okay, that feeling of being alone. I know that feeling even when you're with people. When you get that, go out on Mother Earth, put your feet down, and um, <clears throat> just let absorb some of that energy. And then be thankful for it. It'll help. Because that, that feeling will pass. And I feel that's something that's going to be worked on this month you know, maybe by spirit or by you, and that could be a good thing. It says here, um, <clears throat> if you have anything legal going on or even something from the past, follow up with it. Make sure it's taken care of completely so it doesn't come back to <laughs> haunt you in some way. Somebody else had that too. I said that earlier. Um, and if you've already taken care of it, just keep your paperwork so everything is on the, the up and up so there's no... Um, you know, backlash from it of any kind. And it says here, things you've learned, you're gonna, I almost feel like some of you are thinking about teaching something. Um, you know, it could be a class, it could be a, a actual teacher, it could be many things, but those of you that are, maybe we're being called to, I believe people are getting calls to do uh, lots of things. And if that's meant for you, please, by all means, we can all learn something new. The day that I think I know everything, oh God have mercy on me because I know I don't and I love learning something new. It says again, I feel like there's some kind of calling coming for you in a good way. Um, and you know, you're thinking, oh, that's silly. I can't do it. You'd be surprised what you can do, Libra. I just have a feeling there's something out there for you that you wanted to do and it might be the time to get busy on that. I also feel like you're thinking about <clears throat> wanting to travel and finances just aren't clicking with that. Hopefully when we get to the love and money draw at the end, there's going to be information to help you with that. But I do feel like there is going to be an improvement in your finances, whether it be big or small, I don't know. Um, but making a lot of choices this month and through the end of the year, it says, I'm hearing or feeling, um, and the choices that you make are going to help you. They're going to bless you. If you say, how is this serving me? Then make your choice, make it about you. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually going to be a good thing for you. I do feel things will be going up and down, but all in all, you know, at, at the, you know, like mid August or even September, you're going to feel like, yes, the wheel of fortune has finally come my way. Worrying about things, just delay things, you know, and I know it sounds easy when I say it and it is not easy, but when we can release and let go, like <laughs> with the month of July, that moon, perfect time to let things go is a full moon. Um, and it says, do the things you want. I, again, I'm hearing that alms dispensed with justice, money is going to improve for you. New beginnings are definitely possible. And I'm not sure what kind of beginnings it's talking about. I think it's different ones for different folks. Maybe there's a new beginning with your relationship, maybe your job, maybe your family. I'm not sure. But it says now is the time. If you've asked for something, pay attention and, and look for a sign. It might be a simple, it might be a feather on the ground. It might be, you know, you hear something, you get a call. Just really, I'm, it just seems like there's a lot of change coming for a lot of Libras this month. Or you're going to see it if you can, if you can look for it. Um, putting things to rest that no longer serve you. What great advice is that? Um, I just feel like there's, 
you're celebrating some, some of you are celebrating either it's a marriage or the coming of a child i'm not sure which it is maybe it's both you know different for different folks but this is a happy happy time of, and it's the news up i don't know that it happens this month but it's like an announcement of some kind you know like there's a child on the way or there's a uh, wedding on the way or, or whatever it is or someone's healed of health i just feel like you're going to be celebrating good news of some type also, Nine of Cups says what you asked for is right before you. you <laughs> that could be anything. I don't, I don't even know where to go with that. What I heard is there's different wishes for different folks. And um, actually, if you want to claim those for yourself, this might be a good time to do that. Waiting and waiting and waiting for something is really no fun. But remember this, when we make choices, I feel like you're going to make some choices about those wishes that I was just talking about that are official, it's almost like a contract. You know, like you say, okay, from this day forward, I'm gonna do yada yada, so I can have whatever it is I wished for. You know, that item that you wish for, the thing or the feeling or the healing. Because I just feel like uh, there's so many prayers that are going out in this area from Libras. So, and remember your prayers are heard. Um, wow, abundance, okay. Gosh, I had this several times today too. You know, abundance, we all go to money first, which it can be, but it also can be joy, bliss, and ease. I just feel like a release of some of the stress that has been bound on some of you or, um, is going to like, okay, that could be health, it could be money, it could be sadness, whatever it is, I almost feel like there's going to be, okay, oh, I can let that go now. And, it, you know, let go of what no longer serves you. Again, I know that's, I said it and I heard someone say, yeah, that's real easy. No, but when we believe, especially on a full moon, we can let stuff go. Uh, or other things, on a new moon, write down what you want. So many, so many opportunities. But you are going to have reasons to celebrate. Don't let pain from the past keep you from celebrating something that's been waited for. It says your excuses are gone now. No more giving your power away. Call in my power back. Ooh, every time I do that, I get goosebumps. That's a big deal. It says we can't change the past. If we could, it would be, well, kind of scary, but good. So we have to learn the lesson so we quit getting the same sadness over and over and over again. New opportunities present themselves. I'm not saying you're going to go change jobs or whatever. Something, kind of opportunity brings you money. I'm not sure how or why, but if that is yours, let's not just spend, be a spendthrift and spend all that money. Put a little bit away. And I don't know why I've said that I think with every sign we need to not be a hoarder of money, but we need like a stash cash or emergency fund. I don't know why. I'm just, I keep hearing it that we should put a little money away. Your intuition is so good right now. It says just because, you know, you didn't listen and things happened the way you didn't want them to happen. Not listen, but you thought, oh, that's crazy. That's not for me. It says your intuition is really, really good. Um, and that's a good thing. I almost feel like you're going to reconnect with an old friend or go somewhere with them. I don't know if it's just for a day or a weekend or a week. Really rejuvenating and healing for you. You're strong. You are strong. Libra stronger than you think. And it says here, if someone wants to have an argument with you, let them, let them argue by themselves. Um, and it's hard sometimes when they just know how to push your buttons. But when we don't engage in an argument, there isn't one. I'm not saying walk away, laugh, do anything like that. You can just, excuse me, look at somebody and then wonder, you know, is this for me? I, I just feel like by doing nothing solves the problem. And is that for everyone? Probably not. But whoever it is, if you're getting ready to be engaged in a big argument about something, and even though you're right, it doesn't have to be right. Right fighters, you know, really have a difficult life. It says if you let this go, it will turn out better than you think. Being led, I feel like um, with the hermit here, it says like ancestors are helping you in some way or those that come from the south. I don't, I don't understand that they cross over on the south or they come back on the south to visit. But you've got a lot going on here, Libra. So many blessings are all around you. This is, this is so good for you. So let's do your money and love pull for August. Ah, here we go. Let's, oh, come on cards. Help me out here. Boop. Here we go. Put these up and we'll do that. See what is coming for Libra. Okay, here we go. Let's put that here. Okay, now I did already cut, uh, shuffle these, so we're just going to cut. We're going to start, whoops, with the love department. 
And then we'll shuffle and cut and do the money for August for Libra. Let's see here. What do we have in the love area? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Chariot. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay. I don't know if this message is for everyone, but it's really loud and clear. Do not feel guilty to move forward in a new relationship. If, you know, like your partner and you are split up for whatever reason, whether it was by breakup, death, illness, whatever it is, it says, you know, do the best and you'll never totally forget them. But it says by doing, moving forward, it could be your turn to love again. I hope I'm saying that right. And it would be Chariot, one who achieves greatness. So let's just say that unfortunately your maid or partner passed away and you feel guilty. I just feel like there's a whole bunch of family members standing around you, spirit members, that are saying it's time now. It's time now. I don't even know who that's for because this, and read this another way, this is all about new love. Um, it says there'll be reasons to celebrate. And those of you that are already in relationships, still in relationships, it says the work that you've done is going to continue. Okay, if you had, you know, a meeting of the minds and, and discussions about what could change and what couldn't change, now is the time to see those words put into action. I hope that helps. So let's see what's coming up in the money department for our Libra friends. What is coming up in the money department? Whoa! Agreements made. Hmm. Let's see here. What is coming up in the money department for our Libra friends for August 2024? Let's see here. Oh, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Three of Wands. So it says here, Neither, I said this earlier too, neither a lender nor a borrower be. Uh, if you borrow money to a family member or someone close to you, it's, make sure that you can afford to give it away because they're going to have issues paying it back. And that can really ruin a friendship or a family uh, situation. But it says here that decisions you make on money are really going to uh, be okay. The Three of Wands says the next three months for you is a time of planning and money growing. And the Five of Swords says, and I don't know why I drew it, I heard too, is that very quickly things will change in a more positive way for you. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by. I hope I see you in Melbourne. And if not, I'll see you here next month.